Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we're going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin chart and I'm going to be sharing with you the must need to know important levels that are going to be coming into effect over the next few days here on Bitcoin. I'm going to be sharing with you those exact levels and my trades that I'm in right now and the targets that I have for these trades. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy the video and as I will always say block out all the distractions around you. Give myself this video and the levels that I'll be showing with you, your full focus and attention. And I can guarantee you, but by the end of this video, if you do that and you do fully focus on what I'm saying in this video, you will walk away with more insights and knowledge gains via the course of this video. I'm going to be sharing with you quite a lot uh, in a three three part. First of all, covering the past 24, 12 hours of price action so you can educationally start to understand why these moves happen. Okay, leading to this rise to the upside. Then I'm actually going to give a little bit of a new thing in this video, which is uh, talking about some sort of business career advice. And then I'll move on to the last part, which is part number three, where we're looking at the current bit of price action that we have here and what I'm looking for next over the next few days to come and the levels that will be coming into play. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video and let's get straight into it. As always, I'm going to keep this one extremely professional, concise and just going over the must need to know information right now. So as always, uh, I'm going to pick up where I left off that actually the video from two days ago. So from two days ago, as you all know, I had this NPOC, which was absolutely wonderfully marked out $16,543. OK, that was from the 28th of November. Obviously, the next day, we ended up coming into hitting that level as we were talking about boom to the exact dollar. We got the exact dollar touch on that level. And this is what we were starting to look at during yesterday's video. We got the touch of that NPOC that I had marked out there to, to the exact dollar. After that, we went on to actually get a bit of a pullback from that dollar retest. And then we got the retest of the CC. So I just would like to explain what went on here briefly, leading us obviously in the end we've, we've moved up through this level. But we got this really nice obviously first of all the rejection from that NPOC to the exact dollar <laughs> and then we got the retest of the CC and then what started to happen we actually started to form bearish CVD divergences while we we're up there but just so you can see each step of the way first of all we obviously had that NPOC marked out here $16,543 you know one day in advance had that marked out ready and waiting in the end this come down swing failure pattern the low and we moved up through the weekly once more and to that NPOC and this was uh, kind of, you obviously brought a lot of uh, talk yesterday because we were ta I was talking about how this, you know, I wrote over on Twitter. Uh, step one, create a fake NPOC level on my chart. Step number two, understand if we break above the weekly, we will go to my NPOC level. Step number three, we hit that weekly NPOC to the exact dollar. Uh, obviously, I just want to expand a little bit upon this. Obviously, here I wrote fake, but you have to remember I'm, I'm limited to 140 characters. What I actually want to expand upon this and say, it wasn't a fake POC level per se. I've obviously put this in brackets. The zone was a real NPOC, but I think, well, I can guarantee you this. Look on, look on uh, any exchange and you will see that the NPOC was not the exact dollar of 16,543. It was actually closer to 16,525. OK, and so this zone was an NPOC, but the exact dollar that we rejected from was the level that I gave. And this is what we mean by market make hashtag market maker place that if you had the NPOC marked out, I would have been the only person in the world guaranteed to have that marked at 16,543. And that was the exact dollar, the boom, the exact dollar level that we rejected from was 16,543. Right. And so this was where it was a little bit of a fun and a little bit of a game that we were having that I just marked out that level at that exact dollar because first of all I knew nobody else in the world would have had that marked out because the NPOC was not that exact dollar. Yes this was a naked point of control zone but the exact dollar was 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 actually not 16,543 right. I put it as 16,543 a few days in advance to show you the power that really is undeniably that we have at CC pool. You know, we mark out this this exact dollar level, right, day in advance. And then one day later, it gets respected to the exact dollar for actually quite a heavy pullback after retesting that CC. You know, we got nearly a 2% pullback here. And, you know, this, you, you know, I obviously had a lot of people saying, hey, you manipulate the market, you do this, you do that. I first of all would like to just address this very, very briefly. Obviously, I, don't, I, think, it's, <laughs> I think it's hard to say market manipulation. Um, this is not really market manipulation. I'm not doing anything on the slide this level was literally given out to everybody even the public on a free video right this is not market manipulation this is just recognizing um 
you know cc pool as a collective we, we are literally trading billions of dollars and so when we have levels we can obviously influence slightly the market we can cause these initial reactions so it can cause the initial reaction and pull back but that's not market manipulation like at this point i'm no longer trading right i did take the short to the exact dollar here but after we've moved back here i'm no longer participating it then it then is other market participants that are affecting the market so to speak right so as cc pool we are able to create initial reactions but then that's not market manipulation that's just trading that's just a level that i had that i wanted to trade people that were crying about the manipulation i i, I think it's actually um not correct I, I definitely would not refer to this as market manipulation this is just having a level marked out and it getting respected perfectly that's just trading that's just if you have enough volume you can cause these type of reactions and yeah that, that's what I, that, that was the bit of fun that i had anyway yesterday just to show you that we I, I can put a level on my chart and i can get that level respected to the exact dollar one day later that was a little bit of fun cc pool style uh, but anyway, I move on and digress from that topic. But <laughs> yeah, obviously we got about that 2% pullback. And while we were in this section, by the way, we obviously rejected from that CC. And then we started to form the lower term time frame bearish CVD divergences. Okay, and then those CVD divergences did play out. And obviously we started to get that larger pullback. And this is the beauty of trading, right? Then after that, whatever happened next, we were guaranteed profits. Why? Because this is now hit or take profit on that short position from that NPOC. And so if we had continued to pull back even more, more profits on the short, if we pump from here, it doesn't matter because that short position has now hit a take profit. Stop loss has now been moved down and we're guaranteed the profits, whatever happens next. And obviously the next thing to happen was another move to the upside, which is absolutely fine. And that really brings us up to where we are here. So that that level has now gone out of play. And so when we start to, first of all, I just hope, um, I hope I've made that very clear what happens here. One more time, I'm just going to explain it very briefly and then we'll move on. Um, obviously, we first of all had the level marked out in advance. Okay, we had the NPC marked out in advance. We come up, we tap that level, we get the pullback, we retest the CC, we form bearish divergences locally, we do break down as expected, we come down. We managed to get a take profit locked in on our short trade, move the stop loss down. In the end, the price gets back into this range and breaks up. On the next tap of that NPOC, we really simply broke straight through it. There was no um, no more tap of it. We just went straight through. Okay, on a very quick move to the upside around daily close. And that then brings us on to where we are here. So I hope I've managed to educate you of why this move happened. Why we got the retest of the CC, the bearish divergence is bringing us down here to our support level, managing to take profits. And then what happened next was another rise to the upside. OK, so I hope that has educated you well enough and we can now move on to what's happening next. OK, as I told you, actually, I, I wanted to give a, a quick this is a little bit of different something that I'm just going to add in for this video. And you can leave a comment down below of if, if it's something that you enjoy or not. But it's a, talking a little bit about business and career advice. We could talk we could we could refer to this as. One announcement before I begin, as you can probably see down here, I mentioned yesterday the live Igor trading stream, absolutely must watch. Uh, so that's obviously Igor's live trading stream from yesterday. That went on for two hours 20, by the way. He was going on for a long time. This this guy gives a lot. He's an absolute legend. But you can see here, he's got into live trading. He's entering the trades. He's giving you his thought process live in the time, why he's entering, why he places the stop loss here, why he places the take profit here. All on live stream, giving you that live thought process, entering many trades. And, you know, there's a lot of different trades that go on during this stream, but he's explaining all of that during the course of this video, taking your questions, answering them. You know, he's an absolute, he's an absolute legend. He's doing so much, so, so, so much. So this is the legend Igor. And yeah, if you want to watch his live trading stream, obviously you can watch that back on demand whenever you want. The second announcement that I have is that obviously from today, uh, well, tonight I also have another contenders live stream. So tonight we have the contenders live stream. So if you'd like to get involved on that, that's with myself and a few of the other coaches where we actually come on with the members and we have a round table mastermind type like discussion. So that's of interest to you. That's for the contenders and champions tonight. OK, and yeah, before I move on to now what's happening now on the price action, I told you I'd, I'd have been in a little bit of a new section. And that's just to, briefly talking about the thread that I talked about yesterday uh, with the ultimate career advice. I said, you know, if you're interested in this then you can give a comment down below, maybe I can make it into its own video, maybe on a new channel. But um, yeah, this is obviously my, myself as a person. 
I actually am a CEO, kind of like majority shareholder director of of six different uh, businesses, six different companies. So I think it's fair to say, obviously, uh, you know, a lot of these companies are multi-million dollar companies, uh, successful companies. So um, you know, I'm not ever going to say I'm the best at this. I, you know, my 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 forte and my obviously um, you know passion and love and well, I would say I'm best at is trading. I'm, I'm not ever going to say I'm, I'm anything else other than a, than a trader. But that said, I, I do run six companies. So I do have a little bit of insights to share with you on this as well, I think. Obviously, going from real estate, um, you know, I, I've got, I'm in a few different areas that you might not expect. But um, yeah, what, what I'd like to talk about here is just generally bit, a little bit of tips. We, you know, I guess we cannot call it advice per se, but a little bit of tips, non-financial advice <laughs> um, of of what, we, what I can really take away and, and, and share here so I'm just going to go through these these points very briefly okay starting off with um, you know ultimate career advice num point number one actually this is this is really highly influenced on Elon Musk by the way um, whether you love him or hate him I, I, I think it's undeniable he he's done fairly well uh, anyway I digress and go to point number one combine talent with interest you know your desire for fame won't lead to long-term success instead find a job that matches your skill set you're talented at and you enjoy passion beats pride every day of the week and i know this is actually a really debatable topic people will tell me you shouldn't do what you're passionate about you should do what you're very good at or you shouldn't you know you don't need to be passionate about something it's just the money at the end of the day and you know i understand there's different <laughs> different viewpoints of this but my personal approach is um you know unless you're absolutely passionate about something then i don't think you're ever going to be fully motivated and if you're not fully motivated i don't think you're going to be enjoy enjoying what you're doing i understand for periods of time in your life you have to do things that you don't enjoy that's just part of life and and you know, obviously, some people are in easier positions than others. But I think at the end of the day, if you are fortunate enough to be able to pursue something that you fully enjoy, it's just an absolute game changer. Being able to wake up every day and actually enjoy and be hungry and want more of what you're doing. For me, that's that's the best thing that you can achieve in life. That, that is, that's, that's the goal right there, you know, to wake up and actually enjoy what you're doing, right? For me, it's trading. I wake up and I can honestly tell you I have an absolute love and passion for trading i have an absolute joy coming here marking out my levels getting ready for my next trades I, I i love this you know now obviously i have the discord and chart champions i love the community i actually really enjoy coming in here sharing my trades sharing my updates knowing that thousands of people are, are already waiting for my calls you know and, and what i'm looking at that 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 does bring me in a, a actual real joy i actually am excited and looking forward to waking up every morning um so I know some people, you know, the majority of my viewership want to become full time traders. They want to become traders, but understand naturally this is not going to happen in, you know, you're not going to become a full time trader in, in one one week. Right. It's not even probably one year. It's more likely the three year mark where you can start to actually become full time because it's not an easy process. It's, you know, it does require a lot of dedication to become that to that level. You need to educate yourself thoroughly then you need the experience. And in the meantime, you might be working at a job that you don't fully love. But, you know, if you have the larger goals, if you if you are able to work at the, at the part time on something that you enjoy, I, I really, truly believe at the end of the day, um, passion beats pride every, every day of the week. You know, so combine talent with your interests and, you know, find something that you really enjoy. Now, step number two, focus on the job in front of you. Lofty goals are important, but they're built on measurable achievements. Learn one role master one role it may not be your end game but your ability to overperform will stand out on your resume okay i'm not going to expand upon this i think that's fairly self you know that's fairly fairly obvious what i mean by this so step number three don't seek leadership earn it don't try to be a leader for the sake of being a leader instead learn everything you can take responsibility master your role leadership will come to those who deserved it most often to those who don't want it this is actually something that that, that i kind of have, have learned via chart champions um i never ever wanted to uh, you know never had the goal of creating chart champions i never had the had the uh you know vision that what this was going to turn into right chart champions was created by a want of the people i was just a guy that started to post on different forms online you know i was a bit of a nerd i was on on the on the forms 
And, um, you know, I was obviously had been trading at that point for many years and never done anything socially in that regards. Um, and, you know, I started posting on forums and people were started to get interest. Hey, this guy knows what he's all about. Uh, and then it started to be people were asking for videos and then from videos, people wanted me to teach them. And so, you know, I never imagined becoming like the leader, so to speak, or the captain of chart champions, El Profesor. <laughs> um, you know, it was it was, you know, I'd, I'd done everything I had done uh, in, in, in my own, I'd learned everything that I possibly could to do with trading. I think I had, you know, I'd like to say I had had mastered my role of trading. And then that, that role of leadership was, was really, um, you know, given to me. I never wanted it. I never went searching for it. But it was from a want of the people that I became the leader. And... And I think this is something that you can can kind of take away. You know, obviously during the space of chart champions, we've had oh, countless, you know, pushing 10, 20, I'd say probably about 15, 20 different um, people that have come into the group, learn, and, you know, they've, they've had a want, you know, again, I could expand upon this on a long time, but I think a lot of people have the wrong um, wants. You know, why have a lot of people created their own groups? Well, I think it's undeniably they want a share of the money, right? And obviously, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm not going to hate it. You know, it's not something I, I spend a lot of time thinking about. But I do think, you know, you have to think, why are people creating their own groups? It's generally because they want money, right? They want to get some more money. Maybe they're not actually successful in trading. But expanding this outside of that, I think in general, you don't go looking for leadership, okay? You don't go, you know, you earn you earn this it's something that comes with time okay you, it's just like respect right you don't have that like yes you could get respect instantly but it's lost very quickly as well but you earn respect right you do things that earn respect and yeah this was my point number three you don't go looking for leadership you have to actually earn it you cannot get the respect of the people just instantly you do have to work hard for that and so um yeah these three points i think are, are helpful if you're looking to one day create a business um I think leadership will come to those who deserve it and not necessarily want it at the beginning, okay? Uh, step number four, gather great people. This is a very, very nice one, I do believe. In business, you cannot succeed alone. You need experts at your side. To find them, reach out on socials, attend networking events, build a business that attracts them. Your network will easily times 10 your net worth. And this is absolutely true. Um, again, I can just bring this around to to my perspective that uh for, for, again primarily to do with trading i'm going to talk about here but it's like we've had once again like oh <laughs> thousands and thousands and thousands of people come and go through through trading right and i've had we've hired people we've also sacked people you know we've had people come we've had people go and the, the best thing that I've noticed is that in, in the business of chart champions, I can say this, I, I could definitely no longer succeed alone. I do need a good team at my side. And I truly love the team that we have right now. Okay, I really love it. The people behind the scenes that you don't know that aren't talked about, but also alongside the other coaches that we have right now, I'm really honestly very proud to say that I work alongside these other coaches. Right? We have George coming in here every single day. He's a workhorse. Victor, the calm, the calm dad of the group that comes in here on a Friday and does the speed runs. He's an absolute legend. George, I love him as well. And then obviously Igor, the guy that's coming in here doing the live trading. I mean, I, I honestly like look up and respect Igor so much, the way he is as a person, his family, the you know, the way that he comes in and approaches trading just as he would approach his everyday business. It's it's absolutely brilliant. And yeah, for me this is something that's very, very, very important that at the end of the day you need to understand you cannot do everything alone. It's like myself, I know that I'm only good at trading. I'm not good at doing anything else. <laughs> you know, so I, I hire people that are good at that. You know, I don't want to be doing X, Y, and Z at, at Chart Champion, so I hire people that can do that. You know, I, I just want to be trading. I'm not here to run, um, you know, other things. And I, I recognize that, you know, if you want to succeed, if you want to actually focus on what you're good at, you need to have those people that you can trust. Trust, I think, is a very big word here. Um, but, you know, if you can trust the people that you work alongside, then it's it really... Um, it it really is powerful. So yeah, you want to try and network as much as you can, build a good team. But I really think you want to only work with people that you can fully trust. And that that's something that I've learned greatly over this year, 2022. Yeah, trust has been a very big thing. Obviously, we've had, you know, a lot of people are like, 
you know, we lost, we lost obviously some all stars. We even lost a coach. But I think at the end of the day, this is, you know, this is decisions that have come about from our side. Um, you know, you, you, you see people. This is something that I, I will say this as well. Through time, people will always show their true colours. Who might seem genuine and nice at first, through time, will you know unreal and and show their true colours. And and sometimes it's it is sad. It, it truly is very sad. But um. Yeah, I, I will also digress on that, I suppose, and just say that this, uh, try and gather a great team. You cannot succeed alone. You do need other experts at your side. And I think if you can find those experts that you really can build a friendship and trust with, then that, that's absolutely brilliant. And when you have that sort of family feel within inside your business, I, I think that business can go far and, and truly succeed. And and I must admit, hand on heart, the coaches and my team behind, I I. I feel like we have a little little family and it's, it's absolutely brilliant. And we're also obviously obviously meeting up in, well, it's not obvious, but we also got the London event coming up in two days. Uh, so, you know, we got, you know, we're doing the in-person event. I just think it's very nice. And I, and I move on to the next point. Seek to contribute. Society needs you to be useful. Solve a problem, build a business, contribute more than you consume. Aim to have a positive net contribution to society. Being useful equals true fulfillment. So as I say here, um, I think if you are interested in business, if you want to create a business, I think the best thing that you can do is is find something um, that needs to be solved, right? So again, I, I link this to chart. And my, my other businesses are not so much solving a problem. Um, you know, the, you know, for example, real estate, you could say it's, you know, it's not really solving a problem, I suppose. But chart champions is is a problem where people were literally getting wrecked, right? So when I started you know, obviously I'd been trading in the stock market, but this was brought about more primarily on the cryptocurrency market, right? And I was the biggest bear during two, late 2017, early 2008, well, 8 to 2018. I was the biggest bear in the space. And everybody back in 2018 was extremely, extremely, extremely bullish. I was actually called out and ridiculed and also I basically just ignored for being a bear. Nobody ever thought I was going to be right that Bitcoin would break down below 6k. I remember people telling me the miners will shut off. It's impossible. The price of Bitcoin is not possible to mine below 6k anymore. X, Y, and Z. I had every reason under the sun of why I was wrong. And then obviously Bitcoin did break down below 6k and we headed to three thousand dollars and that's when people said wow this guy actually knew what he was on about right but the the problem was eg that people just didn't know what they were on about people really didn't know anything back then in 2017 18 about trading people were just ultra perma bulls okay and um yeah, the, the the problem was people wanted to learn to trade. Uh, they didn't know what they were doing. They they were making loads of money, but also then losing it all. And so the problem was, well, people need to learn to trade. And then the business was created out of the want of the people. And then obviously we now have a full business and service and product that can be that can be you know presented to you via the via the space of chart champions, right? So I think at the end of the day, aim to have a positive net contribution to society and being useful is true fulfillment and i will say this every day of the week now like um it's not about the money at the end of the day a business obviously and life in general you need money right so nothing's ever going to be free in my opinion but fulfillment in my eyes comes from now the fact that people can come to us and say hey you're literally changing my life you know you've changed my life there was this comment yesterday this, this this comment daniel you have been such an inspiration to me over the last year from bad addiction to joining chart champions joining narcotics anonymous to now i'm almost complete new person learning and studying most days when not at work i must say chart champions has changed my life and also a big shout out to the one special CC member who came to his house and set up Atis for him. I mean, th these type of comments. Thank you, Daniel. Legendary updates. Thank you. I read every single comment. I read every single comment that comes in because I truly love to read these type of things. And it means this type of thing of people changing their lives. For me, that is true fulfillment. That is a true special feeling. And, you know, this beats any type amount of monetary values right having people saying they've changed their life because of our teachings um so yeah if you can find a business that you know does give you full fulfillment at the same time well it's the best it's the best feeling that you're gonna have and last point ingest ingest information ingest as much information as possible books textbooks journals articles videos <laughs> along with increasing intelligence you'll improve your memory and focus expand your vocabulary reduce stress expand knowledge equals expand did opportunity 
Um, and I think this is also self-sufficient. The last point that I could say is maybe learn a new language. For me, that was absolutely, um, that was absolutely pivotal in my life. It changed my life completely. And it wasn't something that I added in here, but I will mention uh, as an added bonus of the video. Um, yeah, learn a new language. I think learning a new language is absolutely changes your perspective on the world, opens up even more opportunities and does actually increase your um I'm looking for a, for a nice word here. Let's just say, I'm just going to wrap it there. Learn a new language is, is very helpful. <laughs> Point number seven that I train along with CC Paul. If you want to trade the markets, make sure you're following the leading analysis, best traders. I suppose we could say biggest whales as well <laughs> over at chartchampions.com. I'll just show you this. And uh, yeah, I think that's so how I'm going to wrap it up there and now move on. That was a, probably a long, long talk through, but moving on to what's happening now. Sorry that actually went on for a little bit longer than expected. But please do let me know whether that was of interest to you, whether you'd like me to do that in the future. Uh, obviously, that was a fairly quick walkthrough from Zenko very on Twitter. But if you want more information, if you want more, you know, in-depth videos, more sort of um, things maybe personally related to me and my businesses that I've, I've managed to learn, I do think that it can be helpful for a lot of people. So you'll have to let me know. And um, yeah, I'm going to wrap that up there. So um, yeah, the resistance that we're coming into next from the Fibonacci taken from the high there on the 10th of November down to the low on the 21st of November. We can see when we put on that Fibonacci, we've got the CC just above us here around 17,000. OK, so starting at 17,000, moving up to the NPUC next zone here around 17,300. So the next $300 zone is a very big resistance level. That's really from 17,000 to 17,300. 17,000 being the low of our CC here, 17,300 being the top of that NPOC zone. So we got our next resistance zone fairly obvious above us, 17,000, 17,300. As always, ladies and gentlemen, this is a level of resistance. If we break above that level of resistance and flip it into support, then we'd simply look towards our next level above us, which would be 17,500. Okay, so it's a level to level game. We know our next level and we check the reaction once we hit that level. Okay, if we get a reaction, we can take a short trade. If we get no reaction, we don't take that short. Just like when we had that NPOC marked out, OK, let me just add that NPOC back on. OK, come down here on, let's say, the three minute time frame. OK, what is a reaction? This is a reaction, right? Hit the level, reject. Then we can say there is a bearish reaction. We can look for the short off of the CC retest. We get the CC retest. We get a large pullback to the downside. That is a reaction. What is not a reaction? The next test that we had where we went straight through the level. So very simply, we can say we have a level marked out that is a reaction, right? Because we hit it to the exact dollar, we pull back. This is not a reaction. Whereas if we have an alert set at this level, we see here an ex executable trade here. We go straight through the level. So there's no trade and we look towards our next level, which is obviously currently that CC. OK, so that's what we're doing here when I'm marking out my levels. I'm getting ready for the reaction. Again, I'll trade the reaction. Locally here, we have local support down at the VWAP. Okay, so that's on a local term time frame. Currently, you can see it just absolutely perfect. Hit it, bounce, hit it, bounce, hit it, bounce. Okay, the more times we test this, the weaker it gets. That's just something to be aware of, by the way. But currently, we've got an intraday support around 16,800. Don't really want to see 16,800 lost because we do have this scenario where we have a bit of a bar pattern, right? I think the lowest level that I'll be looking at there for support is around 16,750. Um, lose 16,750 and uh, you know I would really start to look to see all these single prints filled back into around 16,450 um, so yeah be aware of the single prints there be aware of a double distribution um, that's that's what I'm primarily aware of now the VWAP down to 7, 16,750 support if we do lose that then I do think we got this scenario where we can just like give back the whole of the move right and just, just come back down and, and fill the single prints until proven otherwise that support is support don't we just need to see what happens on those do single prints and if that does support does hold we can obviously move up to uh the cc which as i'll i'll just guys i guess i'll just add it onto the chart one more time okay um and then obviously get through that we we got our npc to daily and to the downside it's it's the start of the single prints if we get acceptance we're looking to fill all those single prints so we got what's known as a bar pattern but as i've said before it's not really a bar pattern it's a double distribution day where we just get acceptance back into the single prints uh, i do think the es is going to be absolutely key today so keep your eye on the es okay keep your eye on the es keep your eye on the DXY these two markets 
are going to be key once again. Um, so yeah, that will be my talk through today of what's happened on the price action, how we had that perfect respect on the charts off of the exact dollar. Then we started to form our CVD divergences. We broke down. In the end, we found support. We got through on the next touch of the level, bringing us up towards the CC. If you want to watch that live stream from Igor, then obviously you can get that live trading stream over on the website, as long as, as well as his updates. Just to let you know, he was also very bullish. Um, he was expecting this to break to the upside. Silly bears. He's been calling the bears silly <laughs> and looking for those longs each step of the way. OK, he's also was looking for another leg up. Um, you know, he's he's been very much on point. Uh, <laughs> over, well, this is Igor. When is he not on point, I guess? But yeah, the guys, the guys trading this very well indeed. So if you want to see more of Igor, if you want to see more of me as well, then tonight you can also get involved in that contenders live stream. That's for, um, you know, all the coaches here, Igor, myself, Victor and George will be on the round table. And we've, we've invited in some of the members. Could be you on the next round table that we do where we invite them members onto the live stream and um, you know we do a little bit of a question and answers once a month on the on the round table um, where you can get your perspective for myself and the other coaches uh, so yeah that's for tonight for the contenders and the champions and um, yeah I'm going to wrap it up there hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video and yeah I appreciate every single message every single comment I, I love you all I truly do I hope that um, you know I'm just happy to say thank you and you know really really is a blessing i feel blessed every day to be able to wake up and trade and also share that with you all uh, inside the group it is it's it's really wonderful sorry the video went on a little bit longer than normal um but i hope that it's been worth it let me know in a comment down below whether you enjoy me talking you through this and um yeah i'm just gonna say that thank you ever so much once again have a brilliant week ahead and hope you're prepared with us inside of this if you want those updates live in the time of course you can get that from the champions group where i'll give updates throughout the day today and in the oh, excuse me in the discord i'm gonna wrap this up now i'm just gonna say thank you ever so much catch you over in the discord or on the website cheers everybody thank you and goodbye uh, and I end, of course, with no financial advice. Um, this is do your own research, trades on a Pedema trade account. Cheers, everybody. Thank you, and goodbye.